And welcome to another great Cat Cast. I'm Aaron Hart, along with Mr. Jordan J, Kevin Hilly, and we have a special guest from across the pond, Mr. Dominic King from BBC Radio Welcome, Kent. Dom. Welcome, Dom. Welcome, hey, welcome, sir. Dom, by the way, what an honor. You are the very first guest on the Cat Cast. That's amazing. We've never had a guest before. And it's so strange that I, I've been watching this. I've been seeing <laughs> you guys do this. Now you're part of it. And now I'm part of it. Does he dare call it a bucket list item? I don't know. I think so, yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking, though, the way the three of you have been doing it for ages, isn't this now a bit more Brady Bunch? <laughs> well, that, that, that's why I, open to that's it. why we put you on the end oh, okay, because okay. I didn't well, want to square. Yeah. So well, we hold would, on, hold on. <laughs> we would have to put Jordan, with the youngest one, as <laughs> curl. Hey, ain't no curls there. No, no, but he is the youngest one. Yeah. Yes. Well, one of the things we wanted to talk about with Dom, obviously visiting from from the UK, is uh, just the differences between our countries and 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 commonalities as well. Um, Maybe things that we've discovered having Jordan and I were both there. Aaron, you're going to be there in March. In March, yeah. yeah. So just the things that maybe you're looking forward to as mm -hmm. well. And Dom, maybe things that you have um, noticed differences, yeah. maybe. So I mean, let's let's start with you being the guest. What do you say? Well, language is obviously. I think that's one of the biggest things that yeah. is different in terms of there's certain things you would say that w which we wouldn't say. Um, uh, but you have this amazing ability to welcome people in really, really well. You know, you 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 really embrace someone who's a visitor. Um, whereas I have to be honest, we're a bit more reserved, mm -hmm. you know, so with that stiff upper lip, well, that's that whole it's, British it's thing. Still yeah. kind, it's still kind of there. We, we're yeah. very happy to chat and stuff, yeah, yeah. but, um, you know, it's like, oh, you're from where? <laughs> All right. And you're here because? So, uh, well, like yesterday, I got to meet your friend, Tim, who's on your trip with you. And, you know, I gave him a hug. And then later my husband was like, you probably shouldn't have done that. Maybe he didn't, he did, he's not a hugger. And I'm like, I, don't, I never think about that. But now we have to think about that, you know, or is it okay to just run up and hug somebody? And I hate it. I'm a hugger. I think that I Aaron think, is a hugger. Yeah. yeah. Hugging's okay. But I mean, you know, on my journey here, mm -hmm. I, I met a, a biker and oh, um, yeah, I was in one of your sort of like, you know, is it fun? He, he, he stopped the translation. He stopped the Kingdom he, City he, at yeah. one of like the. Like a gas station. Yeah. 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 The convenience store. Where, where am I? 1972? Yeah. Uh, I want that to like come it. back five yeah. times. Yes, please. That's what they yes. need to be called. But there's Are a picture of him with this biker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's a picture. And, and, I, and I said, uh, hug? No. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, Get away from and, me. And Dom was like to embrace your culture. <laughs> yeah. Dom was treated at the local hospital. And, uh, yeah. He was released very early. So, Not yeah. everyone is as open as Aaron. I will yeah. say no. I, mean, yeah. I just want everybody to, to be happy. And, you just want everyone and, to get along. I do. I do. Is that so hard? You know, I, 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 on the other hand, I don't mind hugging, but I don't like the hugs to get real close. Like, I like sort of a Kevin, butt out. Sort Kevin, of. Yeah, Kevin does what I call the hiney out hug. Where <laughs> even with me, I'd be like, bring it in. Don't be weird. And we go to hug hug and I can just feel him pulling away from me and I'm like you're making it weird now so so my wife and I we have this thing where um you know we'll we'll have a hug but uh, it takes uh, it takes a few moments before one of us will say a bit breathy <laughs> <laughs> Well, what, what, is, what is the rule? Didn't, remember, we were talking about this a while back. Ten they, seconds. Is it ten? I uh, thought it was proper six. Proper hug is supposed to be ten seconds long. What? Really? Yeah. I'm and have you ever tried that? We tried it on a former co uh, coworker of ours, and I, you could see. In, and somebody took a picture. And it's very obvious he was getting very uncomfortable. It's an eternity. Ten yeah. seconds hug of ten is a long seconds. Time. Yeah. I mean, you you better take me out for a drink at that point. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh, they're One, hugging. You can't do. Three, four, five, wow. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, hold it in. One, <laughs> two. That's a, okay, that's a, that was almost like consolation hug. Like Dom, I'm really so sorry that happened to you. <laughs> that's what that. That's what that was all about. You know. But no, I mean, but you know, the way we were talking about the way we talk, even you know, yeah. when when I was in Ireland and England. I didn't know, like, if I want to use the restroom. I wasn't quite sure how to ask. So if I say to somebody, excuse me, like, I didn't want to say, where's, like, I didn't, is it the loo? Is it the WC? Is it the toilet? I didn't want to, first of all, I didn't, like, feel comfortable saying toilet because it sounds so graphic. You it's like toilet. The toilet. 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 Okay. Why not? Well, I don't know. It just sounds, it it's is. so, but anyway, I didn't want to say either, 
where's your bathroom? Because I don't want somebody saying, why, do you want to take a bath? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you'd be very welcome if you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think I ended up with the loo most of the time because that was, that was, everybody seemed to... Which is weird because when he went to Paris, yeah. he said, I'd like to know where the loo is. And they went, what, where the Mona Lisa is? <laughs> that's, that's the loo. That's the loo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you Americans. <laughs> well, you guys. <laughs> Earlier we had Dom on Hilly and Hart this morning and we played a game that we played the last time you were here, which is what's that British chap saying? Mm -hmm. And what I love is you guys have, seriously, like charming words for certain things. I yeah. love that. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 but it's... If you ask us, you know, if you mm -hmm. ask us what is the uh, the origin of it, yes, we're like, well, don't ask that bit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't. I mean, you know, if I say I'm chuffed, yeah, and you're like, well, you know, I'm sure you can see a doctor, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like there is know, there is a cream for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, that's a happy thing. Yeah, yeah. Right? You know, that's a happy thing. It's chaff, like, not change. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, I mean, even just the way you make everything sound better. For mm -hmm. instance, oh, I'm not coming into work today. Why? Oh, I'm feeling a bit unwell. Unwell sounds so. Oh like... no no no! We go under the weather. Oh, well, because better. we're yeah. obsessed oh, okay. with the weather. <laughs> so of course it would be to me, we're under the weather. But unwell sounds so much better than oh I'm sick. I don't yeah. feel good. I'm sick. Yeah. Sick's like, too harsh. Unwell is like very classy. It's very it classy. Is. Saying holiday instead of vacation. I love that yeah. one too. Yeah, Dom's yes. on holiday right now. Exactly. I am yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, I like that better than vacation. To me, vacation is like. Holiday sounds more fun. Vacation right. means you're, you're shipper, vacating. You know? You're vacating where you live. Yeah. It's almost like you're being kicked out. I mean, get out of the country, George. Yes. It's, it's a much harsher word. Yes. <laughs> but, you know, just, just listening to the tone of his voice, Very his soothing. accent. I know. We need to make a ringtone with Dom. We do. Maybe we a do. bedtime sound too. All right, Aaron, it's time to go. Let me hear you say, say Aaron, it's time to go to bed now. Aaron? It's time to go to bed. <laughs> See? See, wouldn't I'm you already relaxed. Your day with that? <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, your husband's going to be like, uh, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that all about? It's part of my relaxation. <laughs> That's right. I hope he doesn't see the hug. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Too late. Aaron, Too long. Aaron has an alarm. She just calls Dom. She's like, it's story time, Dom. I need you <laughs> to go to bed. I need five minutes of your time. Please read tell, me a tale. Tell, tell your husband, hey, don't look at the cat cast this week. You don't want to see it. Just, just skip it. It's, yeah. You're going <laughs> You know. nothing, nothing good will come of it. But, you know, I mean, just, just yeah, get down with your No, I'm just saying that, but, but you know, you guys are giving me all the, uh, you know, plaudits and saying, you know, wow, your, your accent. And I'm like, yeah, keep going. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but I love your accents. I love the American voice. I like the fact, you know, different parts of the country, there's different yeah. shades mm -hmm. of sound. And the same with us. I mean, yeah. you, you know, you'll meet someone. Like when we were on the boat trip yes, that we yeah. did, we were all on a boat trip and there was someone who was from a different part of the country and for me, I'm like, wow, that's a really different English voice. And thinking that person's first impression of that is the English voice. Whereas I'm kind of, maybe it's the BBC thing. I'm quite BBC, yeah. you know, sound. Yeah, yeah, radio yeah. proper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but you hear these accents, you just think, this is fantastic. All this incredible, where does it all come from? Why have we all got these certain types of way of speaking? Yeah. It's brilliant. I, I have expected somebody on the boat, when obviously they heard you. They know you're from England. And when they said, oh, there's somebody else from England, I have expected one of them to say, oh, you're both from England. Do you know each other? No. <laughs> I mean, it's to, a big country. To be fair, I almost, um, you know, uh, invited him out for a duel. <laughs> it was like, no, no, there's only one Englishman on this boat. <laughs> what? Do not steal my thunder. What are you doing? When, when we were in, um, when we were in England, actually in Ireland too, a couple times, because again, when we're there, our accent sticks out like anything. And somebody would say, oh, where are you from? They'd hear me. Where are you from? I go, uh, America. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> my own. Uh, Missouri. Oh, oh, okay. Where is where is Missouri? Um, it's in the middle of the country. Oh, okay. You know that that was the best I could come up with. <laughs> where are you from? America. America. Duh. Oh, that's great. <laughs> come on. You know, it's, it's funny. Like I don't. I never really thought about it until you actually look at like the dialect of like the different. So like you got the proper English, and then you have like the Americanized English. We turn T's into D's. Did you know that? 
Like that's what we do. We so like it, for example. That's true. That's yeah. true. So he like, enunciates the T's. Mm-hmm. I'm saying you since so, you're the so example American today, Dom. English, like we we turn T's into D's. Mm-hmm. We speak kind of like really quick, so okay. we don't we don't enunciate like yeah. all those. So that's kind of like the difference. So like because for like by one of my friends yeah. had to take like some English dialect in, in college, and that's what they told him. They're like, yeah, for some reason Americans like pronounce to turn your T's yeah. into D's. It's true. Like, so really, do. Yeah. And so you would say he was elected. Elected. Whereas we elect, he was elected. We were elected. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That's what we oh, say. Wow. So yeah. we turn, we just speak quicker, I guess. And yeah, we just, we just don't. Worry and and about there are that. certain words too where they're spelled differently, like color, C O L O U R. Yeah. Whereas yeah. we leave off the U. U. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, recognize. Are you just saving time? <laughs> Which is, maybe. maybe if I no. just don't write that one letter, look <laughs> at the life I can live. Oh, that's almost as bad as people who put instead of okay, they put K. Okay. Really? You couldn't take the time for one letter before then? Really? That's how I know the husband's mad if I just get back K. a K. That's oh. how you know you're in trouble. You yeah. don't want to see K. No, no but I mean like recognize. You, we put a Z. Yeah. You put an S. No, I, no, we put a Z. We wouldn't put a Z. You put a Z. The Z. Ah, that is what okay. it is. It's just a Z. A Z. Yeah. A Z. Yeah. No, we put we put as we no, put no, as sure, but I'm I'm okay. I'm saying to you, you're saying Z. Oh yeah, oh. Z. Z. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. Stop confusing yeah. me. Another one, another one that I yeah. love is aluminum. You say aluminium, right? Aluminium. Aluminium. Wow, yeah. mm-hmm. that Alu- sounds like a brand new. Uh, uh, it what just sounds so element. fancy. It, it sounds cooler than yeah. American English. Whereas I think <laughs> aluminum sounds like, you know, uh, we're about to take off into space. <laughs> yeah. Aluminum. Yeah. Aluminum. <laughs> the, the other one was, um, okay, S-H-A-L-L-O-T-S. S-H-A-L-L-O-T-S. The thing that's sort of like clams. Oh, uh Okay, well, um, the way you're spelling it sounds like shallots. Shallots. Well, that's onions. We say shallots. Shallots. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Shallots. Yeah, yeah. we say shallots. I quite like shallots. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas, you know, even things like um, yesterday I ordered shrimp. Yeah. You say that's prawns. 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 But I've that's the same in Australia. Mm-hmm. Australia they says prawns. prawns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Although well, they never threw the shrimp, uh, shrimp on the barbie in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> <Complete> <laughs> fabrication. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> It's prawns. Last, last <laughs> night at our house, Tim and and uh, Dom and I, we were watching Conan O'Brien's Australian lesson with the Australian dialect coach. Oh, yes. It's hilarious. And he, she tells him, no, we don't say shrimp on a barbie. We say prawns. And we don't drink fosters. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> he goes, I feel, Conan says, I feel like I've been lied to my whole life. Yeah. <laughs> but even a caller on the show, you know, that yeah. we were on today, yeah. uh, went into an Australian accent. I'm like... You know, that's another colony. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm yeah. already lucky I'm here. The colony. They still haven't forgiven me. That was the other <laughs> day. But you know, okay. I think it was nerves. On a somewhat nerves. serious note, I'm glad you brought that up because you know, we obviously we separated from England and you know the the Revolutionary War and everything, and there was such animosity between us. Isn't it amazing what incredible allies we are now? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. England is our closest ally, and they're like, we're kind of like brothers. Oh who had an awful fight and there was a rift between us and then slowly, okay, we made up. And that's kind of what it's like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That shared experience that we all have and the I fact that so. we, and, and you know, these days TV shows are all very much the same. Mm. So we're all seeing the stuff. You know, years ago, I remember uh, something coming out from America or a film. It was like six months it would take to get to us. Right. Because um, we're quite slow. Now we're all watching um, the same shows. Now we're all watching the same yeah. shows. We're yeah. all enjoying that. You know, July 4th, we celebrate Treason Day, you know. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had to go there. <laughs> he did. That's like, that's like the he great we were all getting along so well. Yeah. The Great British Bake Off was like, yeah. the, the, that's like the most stream show here in the United States. Like everyone loves that. Love. <laughs> yeah. love Which to it. be fair, it's fantastic. My wife's the same way. She's like, I've binged every season. Yeah. Yeah. Times. You can have the worst day on earth, but it's like American reality TV. It's cutthroat. It's dirty. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, it's how true. can you get one up on somebody? No doubt. Whereas the Great British Bake Off, they're all such great friends and mm-hmm. like, oh, what's so, you know, somebody's behind. Well, hang on. I'm done with mine. I'm going to go help yeah. them. That would never that happen will, on an kidding? American yeah. show. You know, and they will just, cut off your legs in an American right. you know? competition. And, and it's not even like they don't even win money at the end. It's like just recognition, which is like it's just we're, bragging. We're about, it's, yeah. it's, it's like, like a glass. Three, it's like a glass cake dollars, stand. It's you know? a glass cake yeah. stand, and you know, 
accolades. Mm-hmm. That, that's wow. it. Wow. Americans would never be on a show like that. They they want big bucks. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, get done. No, I'm gonna... just glad it translates. Yeah. yeah. You know, I always worry that these shows don't translate. You know, I don't want to always tell you about my soggy bottom, but when it comes to it, soggy bottom. <laughs> <laughs> don't want that. That's, that's we did. Bad. We didn't have to go there. I just want to know how to become a judge on one of those shows. You know oh. what I mean? And I'm like, I'm like, what do I? All I have to do is eat food, delicious, <laughs> <Yeah>. professionally. <laughs> I want to. I want to be Peru and Paul. I just want to go and I want to try everybody's I know. stuff. Speaking yeah. of food, you know, one of the things that we, we've said before, before I went over there, especially, you know, like, oh, American portions are so huge, and in other countries they yeah. serve such. That is not true. Uh, I had a couple of times. Uh, the uh, fish and chips over there, and I'm telling you, this cod was bi- was bigger than my <laughs> head. And they they brought it out, and my wife and I were sitting next to each other. Going, I'm supposed to eat this right now. I did, but right. yeah. <laughs> do I tell him? You go ahead. Yeah. yeah, you know where we had that fish and chips? <laughs> where it was in a place called Dungeness. You know the Dungeness yes. crab. Yes, oh, yes, yeah. yes. Um, behind you, which I didn't show you, there was a nuclear power station. <laughs> That's, That's why. why the- <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, still delicious. And I, yeah, fortunately, I'm okay from it. Yeah. <laughs> really, like we've said before, you've got a cast iron stomach. You can handle anything. Oh. And we have no issues. Can, can I just tell yep. you about... Pl- please so do. This is a place where... Place. <laughs> <laughs> this is a place where you have this world famous, pretty much, fish and chips in this place, which I took uh-huh. Hilly to. And it was, you know, fantastic. And, it um, was. It was amazing. In this place, they serve this fish and chips, and everyone has the same reaction if they've never been there before, which is, oh, wow, look at the size of this place. Oh. Only Hilly would do, oh, this is amazing. What's your soup of the day? <laughs> <laughs> and what did I have? Do you remember? Uh, mushroom soup. Oh, okay. I, I, soup. I, it wasn't clam chowder. No. No. <laughs> because no, Aaron, because, that because is a, they didn't have it. That is an ongoing joke with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll tell it. We got to tell yeah. it in a second. Sure. But, but they uh, sold, mushroom, they, they sold it was it, so they good. They sold though. out of what he wanted. Oh. Which was a kind of, you know, chowder, so but. there we were in New York. We had just won the Marconi Award. And the biggest night Highest of our lives, the biggest ever. night of our professional yes. lives, right? And we're, we're, let's go celebrate. We're with our former program director. We all were, were there. Let's go celebrate. Yeah. And so we got, we stopped at this little Irish pub and okay, we're going to order dinner because, you know, eating dinner at the ceremony wasn't enough for Hilly. That was just an appetizer. <laughs> so uh, everybody's ordering. They get to Hilly. He goes, ah. Uh, I'm going to have a crab cake and a bowl of clam chowder. And I'm like, you just ordered literally the most old man meal possible on the biggest night of your life. That is what you're choosing. The biggest old man meal. The crab cake and clam chowder. And clam chowder. chowder. We're like, we're like, so of course me and Aaron are like, did you, you want, want some, a bedtime with like, that? Do you want some prune juice? Yeah. <laughs> here's, your, here's your bowl of raisin bread. <laughs> I mixed up your Metamucil. There you go. Oh, that's we were talking about cereal once, and she and we were talking about favorite cereals, and she says, if you tell me what was it, the oh um, my gosh. Oat, uh, oh no, it was uh, grape nuts. If grape- you tell me grape nuts is your favorite cereal, <laughs> and you like to mix. And you like to warm it up with milk? We're done. We're done. We're done. That's, that's, a pretty, that's a pretty old man meal. Oh. I just love that. Let's celebrate crab cakes. And clam, clam chowder. chowder. It, but you were happy. Oh, yes. Was I ever? Oh my God. He, he was so, very happy with this very beige meal. He was is, very happy. Is there anything, Dom, that since you've been here, like food-wise, that you wanted to have? Like, oh, when I get there, I'm going to have some of this. Or, or have you pretty much had everything? And Yeah, I mean, uh, I visited with you before, so. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, I got to experience, but barbecue is always a really great thing. Can you get like barbecue it. around there? Out uh, your way? I mean, uh, like the same way it is we are, here? Again, we're starting to do stuff like yeah. that and yeah. people will have it, but not in the same way you guys do. You know? Right. This we is go a, into places. This is the best place to do it, too, because uh, Kansas City is known for barbecue. Oh, and that's yeah. your we, next like, stop. Invented so, barbecue. Yeah, we're going to be doing a barbecue place for mm-hmm. lunch today, yeah, too. So, yeah, so yeah we, we know how to do it around here. That's <laughs> where we're going to next. Yeah. So I'm really excited about that. Yes. But yeah. I have asked the RAF whether they have a, a Chinook helicopter that's big enough <laughs> to pull me up as I've eaten my last the barbecue. Like, oh, bye, yeah. America. <laughs> See you in another 11 years. <laughs> That's so great. Yeah, and, you know, because Dom was here in 2013, mm-hmm. and it's it's been, a, you know, it's it's funny the way we connected, actually, because 
Uh, I was, yeah, I was telling Aaron, and, and well, Aaron already knows, but you know, like I like seeing radio stations from other countries online. I would listen once in a while, and I came across Dom's, and I actually sent. I guess I sent you either. Well, we a, would listen in our office, right? You know, and just as we were kind of show prepping for the next day, yeah. or if we had to do reports <clears throat> or whatever, and yeah. we, we would turn them on. And I sent. I guess I sent either an email or a Facebook message. I'm not sure what. Yeah. But of me. With a map behind me pointing to Missouri, I say, "Hey, here's where we are. We're, you know, cat country and blah blah blah." And he got back to me, and I guess you mentioned it on your show. Or, yeah, it was or, great because this was, you know, eleven years ago. This was yeah. when this was still an early adopting thing for people to go on Facebook and stuff. Right, yeah, right, yeah. sure. So, so to actually have someone listening from outside of your country is always a joy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whenever yeah. there's someone around the world, you know. So, so yeah. So that's so, how it happened. So this was like again. It had to be like maybe 2012, something like that. Mm -hmm. And just a short time after that, so we're, we're now, you know, friends online and everything. And Don goes, hey, I'm going to come visit you guys. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know you, but you're welcome to, you know, and that was great. And we're glad we did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? yeah. Really nice. It was and really cool. It's taken 11 years. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I don't know if I want to go back. <laughs> I, was, I was telling the husband that story and he goes, so let me get this straight. He goes, he didn't really know you guys. You didn't know him. And he just got on a plane and came here. He goes, do you know how much faith yeah. that takes? But you know what? Right I'll tell you the connecting thing with that was radio. Yeah. We all, you know, we, like we. Radio yes, people, we we're all stone cold weirdos. It's but true. <laughs> we're super nice. We didn't know him personally. Right. But we knew, we knew what he sounded like on the yep. air. Mm -hmm. He knew what we sounded like. Mm -hmm. So it was pretty safe. To, none of us no were, were serial killers. No. Nobody's so, catfishing anybody. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can't, I think, when you're on a radio show, and we are just who yeah. we are, yeah. we, we talk like this outside. I don't go out and go, hello, hello. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the same voice. And I think that you just, it's a radio family. It doesn't matter how fast. And it comes back to what we said about, you know, that special relationship. I know people say it, and it's a bit of a cliche. No, it's true. But the truth is that, you know, we're, we are pretty much the same. It is true. I mean, you know, like you are, you are a part of our radio family. We love you. And, and like this trip is already going way too fast. Yeah. Now. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, we need to, you know, Aaron will, Aaron will be on the other side of the pond in, in where is it in January? Uh, March. Uh, March. 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 We'll be in Ireland. In Ireland. That's yeah. going to be really cool. So, but at one point, you need to come back. Don't make it 11 years. No. Well, know? and at one point, you know, the husband and I, we need to plan a trip to England. Yeah. To see you. For sure. My, my sister in law, her nana lives in Margate. Oh wow! Yeah, I did not know that. And that's real, right? Right near him. Yeah, yeah. I did not know that. Yes, amazing. <laughs> we love our Mary. <laughs> uh, forget this. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but you know what? Yeah, yeah. I will tell you, Dom gave the greatest tour, and he gave a, a tour of his local area where he lives. Uh, I mean, I saw the radio where the radio is, but then you know he lives kind of away from there, mm -hmm. and his his hometown there. It was a spectacular tour. I mean, the detail of everything. He was giving me the history of, of places. And here's what it meant here. And, 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 like, just taking me from place to place. We were eating it along. Mm -hmm. It was an eating tour as well, you know. But it was just the detail you gave was so amazing. So I said, if you weren't in, in this business, you could probably be a really good local tour guide. And I said to him, yeah, that's really kind of you. Now, here's your bill. <laughs> <laughs> well, I joked for the first time that Dom came to visit us that, you know, Hilly loaded him up and just took him down Missouri Boulevard. We got a Walmart. There's a Taco Bell, Dairy Queen, Burger King. But no, uh, he took you to the state capitol. Amazing. Which yeah. we have, yeah. I'm not going to lie, the most beautiful. We really do. Yeah. Yeah. We're a little biased, but, you know. Yeah, it, it's gorgeous. Uh, we're all, we're all that we take you. We took you all uh, over the place. They took me to uh, the, the former penitentiary. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes that's Right, yeah. we did. You, you yeah. got to see the old, uh, the old MSP when you're in town. I mean, I was a bit worried. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> didn't know it was an actual visitor attraction. Mm -hmm. at the time. Yeah, we... he just thought we were going to go visit. Somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did we go downtown at all? Yeah, like High Street and all. Yeah, I believe yeah. so. Yeah. You, know? you, you took him to your dad's uh, um, hangout. Oh, the Am Amvets. Oh, Amvets down in Mocaine. That yeah. was amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. where my dad is from originally. And he, uh, they have tokens, don't they? There, mm -hmm. you can buy somebody a drink and you get a little token. And he said, uh, right, I, I knew, so your dad's amazing. Right? Yeah. He, he's he's a man mountain. Yeah, and uh, yeah. I'm a short stack. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and and he he gave me this token right at the end of the visit with him there, and he said, 
for the next time you come back like that and in his accent obviously not mine and uh, <laughs> and, and I, I just thought oh, that's really kind and then I knew I'd made it at that point because he was like um, you're okay yeah yeah that, that's kind of that like, like and, and Dom okay. said something interesting too that you know the the people and the veterans that he met in there they were very similar to people that you've hung around with in your area yeah absolutely yeah and and you know that that and, and even just I mean, I'm always amazed about your military backgrounds here. Yeah. And, and I think, again, that comes back to why we as two different countries are very connected. Yeah. It's because of that sense of military and obviously Winston Churchill and all mm -hmm. the rest. It all goes back to that point. But, yeah, there's something amazing about um, individuals and their military service and who right. they are. And I've spent a lot of time, as you guys know, that, you know, being out with service people, especially in Afghanistan. And, sure. Oh, know, yeah. That, that's that's amazing. To Dom, Dom has that. stories about yeah. Afghanistan and everything that, you it's know, incredible. we could probably spend a whole other podcast on, quite mm -hmm. honestly. But, um, Dom, what's a good way, if somebody's watching right now and they go, hey, I want to know more about this guy, uh, Dominic King, what's a, what's a good way to listen to you, to get in touch with you? Maybe you just give me the details and we'll have it on the screen here. Yeah, okay. So probably the, the best way is that, because uh, you, you can listen to my app. We still. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. So BBC Sounds is where you listen to my, my program. You just type in my name. Fancy. <laughs> it is fancy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and, and on socials, I'm Dom King Live. And you're on AM to 2 p.m. Yeah. in UK, so which is like... So we call that a daytime show. Right. So you're on basically the same time as Hilly and Hardart. So don't listen to him then. Because... <laughs> <laughs> I was say, Dom My gets to sleep figures. in a bit. But, he, <laughs> but, you do, but you do actually have a, uh, uh, a podcast where it, it repeats... Your show, right? Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. part of the BBC Sounds, so you can literally go on and, right. and, and listen that's back awesome. at any time for. That's uh, really cool. So, yeah. yeah, all right, very good. Well, it is such a pleasure to have you on the Catcast today, Dom. Yeah. Do you know this has been an honour to to be here with me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. It's just see. Once we had Monty Python, we couldn't let it. It's like Pandora out of the box. <laughs> We've always got a joke. That's how we get around the world. You see, and we just course. choke and be charming and stuff. And we got him in full cat swag yeah. too. Mm -hmm. And now for something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that Bigfoot? <laughs> no, exactly. Uh, if you want to reach us, it's catcountry at malezimmer.com. And uh, thanks for joining us for this edition of the CatCast. Goodbye. Bye.